edge and say, are we almost there, brother? Are we almost there? This journey has been so long. Come on. It's been so long. Yeah. I want to know how it feels. Yeah. 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 I want to sit down by the river yeah. of life. I want to yeah. just rest. Yeah. I want to rest know. in the Lord. Yeah. Don't you want to rest in the Lord? Yeah. I want to rest right here on this earth. Yeah. God has been so good to me. He's been
from one side to the other side and down the front all the way to the back and it was open and the doctor in the emergency room there said no paramedic said yes and we measured it and he gave so many centimeters and the doctor said no there's nothing like that here and so the paramedic walked around to the where it was again and he looked at me and he said, no, something happened because when we picked him up, his scalp was open. It was open. But you look at my husband tonight and you will not see that. And any time that you want to tell me that God doesn't perform miracles, you will never convince me of that. I don't care what anybody says because I was there. I almost killed my best friend. Well, no, Brother Hank, you prayed him back to life. Yeah. You prayed him back to life. You oh, prayed him back to life. And do I want to keep telling that story? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That happened on a Wednesday night, and on a Friday, my husband came home from the hospital, and he was, Sister Judy was helping him bathe his head to get rid of all the dry blood. No, don't tell me God doesn't do that. I know he does. But it's not just that. It's over and over the miracles that God does for all of us. All of us. But the greatest miracle of all is when he saved my soul. There was nothing as dirty and ugly and stinky as my soul was when Jesus came in. And it was the same way for you. It was the same way. And then he gave me the Holy Ghost.